you've got about an inch of ice in between you, that is life. And then you see the valley floor thousands of feet below you. I was sliding out of control. I was going towards the crowd. I can remember still what the rock looked like right when I grabbed the rope, the shine of the rope. Something in me knew I was going to maybe die right then. You're in a state of absolute awareness without any effort. It's definitely the highest form of concentration I've ever experienced. And I'm just perceiving things much more clearly, much more slowed down than normal. It's when you're fully in sync, when you're making perfect decisions. Pretty much everything falls away. A superior form of consciousness. It's basically where life makes sense. We can use the action of adventure sport athletes as case studies. We can apply this knowledge across all demands of society. We call this experience flow because the sensation conferred is that every action, every decision leads seamlessly, fluidly to the next. It's technically defined as a state of consciousness where we feel our best and we perform our best. You have to find a state of mind where, you know, you're able to make fast decisions that you aren't even aware that you're making. Pattern recognition, future prediction, information processing, these skills are massively, massively amplified. So flow heightens intellectual performance, heightens creative performance, and it heightens physical performance. A lot of athletes that I work with basically wouldn't feel like they were alive if they didn't have it. That's the only reason I'm putting myself in harm's way is for the heightened awareness. It's hard to put words to it, but it's addictive and that's what drives me to come back and do it again. Every action, every decision leads seamlessly, fluidly to the next. Being able to take those steps, slow them down, watch the videotape in your head, and then once you've connected all of the dots, push the play button and it speeds back up and then you roll away. Time dilates. Sometimes it slows down like in a car crash, you get that freeze frame effect. Sometimes it speeds up and five hours pass by in like five minutes. And the moment that everything slows down, is that perfect moment of flow and nothing is rushed because a second is a hell of a long time. And I think everyone has tapped into flow at some point in their life, that time where time stood still, yet everything happened with infinite clarity. That's the best part is kind of letting go and seeing where it takes you, knowing that you know you have the capability to make those decisions, but kind of letting it happen. When it becomes your purpose, some people are gonna get it and some people won't. So the question at the heart of Rise of Superman is what the hell's going on? Where is this coming from? And the answer is that these athletes have become better at hacking the state of flow than anybody else in the history of the world.